In this video I'm going to be talking about what's probably the second most favorite and most hated exercise in the world, the bench press. The first, of course, being the curl. And the question is, should I bench press? A little bit of a longer question here I got in from Marcel. I was wondering what you think of the bench press as an exercise. I did it before but developed irritation in the right shoulder but I'm not sure it was bench pressing or incline bench pressing. With inclines I sometimes had a really awkward feeling while training and with benching it was not so but later when I had added incline benching it also became irritating on benching although much less. So now I concentrate on handstand push-ups, normal push-ups, dips, some military and kettlebell presses and have no problems with the shoulder anymore. Anyway, I would like to add one day of benching a week, but I'm afraid I'll mess things up again. What is your opinion about it? Well, I have been on both sides of the fence on this, saying that this exercise is non-functional, no one should do it, it's stupid exercise, you know, because other people said that, and you know, at some points you're uh, convinced by other people saying things, and also the idea that, yeah, it is a really good exercise depending on what you're going for. Uh, so, I'll give you some of my thoughts about it. Uh, does everyone need a bench press? No, it is not a necessary exercise. Uh, it is a good one for football players, for instance. That's why they use it, because especially the linemen, uh, this sort of strength is necessary. Now, for the average person, we're not often pushing things in this manner, and we're not often either lying down for exercise. So, I do think there are some more, I guess you would call them functional exercises, that you can do. Uh, various sorts of overhead pressing, the different exercises that Marcel was talking about with the push-ups, kettlebell press, handstand push-ups, dips. I love all of those. I love the body weight exercise, but I also love working with weights. And I think really to be more well-rounded, more complete, you should be working with both your body weight and with weights. And you should be putting things overhead, which is neglected by a lot of people but also working in this vertical plane, whether that is bench press, push-ups, or something along those lines, because you do want strength in every part of your body. So the bench press, depending on what you're going for, can be a great thing. If you're trying to build mass and to get really strong with heavy weights, then the bench press is the probably best exercise for your upper body that will help you to do that. If you're not looking to gain mass, then you might not want to do the bench press for that same reason. Now the bench press is also very responsible for a lot of shoulder injuries or some shoulder damage. And part of it may be the bench press itself, but a lot of it would be people's technique while bench pressing. As Drew Patrick said uh, at our recent Superhuman workshop, a lot of people, why they hate the bench press is because they suck at it. Um, if you've never learned how to bench press properly, then you are probably setting yourself up for shoulder injury because there are certain things you want to do in packing the shoulders, getting the traps on the bench, and all of that. Uh, myself, I actually have never been coached properly until this, so I highly recommend you go and check out Drew Patrick at drewpatrick.com. Check out his bench press secrets. It's literally from a world champion bench presser, so it's a good guy to learn that from if you want to pursue this exercise further. Even after doing that, you know, I. I'm really not that interested in the bench. Uh, if you actually look in my gym here, I don't have a bench, so I'm not even capable of doing it. But there are plenty of other things I can do. There are plenty of substitutes. So if you are looking to add the bench into your routine, I would pay attention to your body. Um, make sure that you don't just add it on top of everything else that you're doing because a lot of the issues can come from overworking the muscles. So you want to be sure that you're not using you're not just adding the bench press on top of all that other pre pressing. And if you pay attention to your body, you can get through with having good technique for this that helps keep the shoulders safe and in good alignment. Then you should be able to bench press without problem. That being said, there probably are some people that no matter what shouldn't be bench pressing. Uh, everyone is individual. You've got to find what works for you and you've got to train according to your goals. So I hope you've enjoyed these tips and ideas on whether you should be bench pressing or not. Be sure to check out legendarystrength.com. You can find a whole lot more information, especially on some of the more out there exercises than the bench press that most people haven't heard of. A lot of great stuff there. Be sure to go there and sign up, grab my five free reports and all that jazz. I'll see you on the next video.